Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight I'm going to look at DC Collectibles The Flash, based on the TV series. And, uh, don't worry. I, his hand's in there. It, it was rolling around. I made sure of that before the uh, before I bought him. Uh, but I like, there was two available. I like the face on this one better. It just seemed a little bit more cleaner. And so I'm good with the hand, at least being in the package. Uh, the side of the package shows a nice graphic of uh, Barry... And then the back shows mostly Arrow cast. I don't have any Arrow figures yet. I've been wanting this one. And if I get him, I may get the rest. Sculpted by Gentle Giant. Oh, yay. And that's about it for the package. Just, you know, the logo. I actually got this for my son. He's 10. He loves watching the show with me. Uh... I'll get home from work, he's already home from school, and he'll, you know, it's Flash Day, we'll watch Flash. Uh, he's dug into the history, he loves the spoilers. So, this is actually his figure, but I'm going to review it, and uh, I may end up with one of my own if it's cool. So let's, let's see if it's cool. All right, out of the package, and uh, there's a lot of good points and a couple of bad points, but, you know, that comes along with any action figure you pick up. Uh, the good points, uh, it's from one of my favorite TV shows, one of my son's favorite TV shows. Uh, and the good thing about it, the figure is just covered in texture. Uh, on top of that is the nice paint apps, and, of course, the, you know, DC Collectibles skin tone that I really like. The bad points come in with the articulation, and it's not terrible. Uh, right off the bat, let me get this out of the way. I, these fists, uh, there's something weird going on with them. I don't know if uh, the fingers are a little short or what's going on there, but it's almost like he's doing this. I don't know if it's that, that's a running pose. I'm no runner. I, I, Yeah, I definitely don't run. But it... I don't know. It, it, there's just something weird and getting to another thing real quick there is wrist hinge here but you go too far and it pops the the uh the ball out but my problems with the fists uh he comes with fists in the package the good thing is uh, he comes with interchangeable hands and we'll get to that after articulation now uh, articulation wise his head is on kind of a ball joint and he gets good side to side and it gets pretty good tilt, but uh, up and down is kind of kind of hindered. Down isn't too bad. Up is the for running poses. It it's not a great thing to not be able to look up. So I I may get in there and try to shave down or shave up really the back of the head a little bit so he can look up better. Get crouched down. Get into running. Uh, the shoulders hinge and swivel. It swivels all the way around. It hinges out pretty much horizontal. The elbows are hinge and swivel. You're not going to get a, a lot of bend to it. Not quite 90. And then it swivels back and forth. The wrists I went over, uh, it's swiveled. It's hinge. But like I said, it pops out when you get too much. It's the sleeve coming down over the hand. It looks great because there's no articulation break there that's noticeable, but the articulation is behind the sleeve, so the sleeve shoves it out. Now the torso, uh, there's a there's a cut across there, and it's almost scary to crunch forward, but he does crunch forward about like that. I'm afraid to twist. It seems like it wants to go, but there's something holding it back like uh the bottom and top uh just run into each other whenever you do it side to side though you can get left really good i mean i don't know what kind of pose this would lend itself to but it does do it right not so much but it's there I, well, actually, that does. That may work in a running pose. Not too bad. Uh, there's nothing at the waist. 
the belt looks awesome though. Uh, the hips are a uh, hinge and swivel. It hinges out about that far. It'll go both ways. He's not going to do the splits, but you can get some motion out of it. Forward, back, but it breaks everything up right here, which isn't terrible. I mean, you go here and it's not too bad. He's got a swivel at the thigh. It breaks the lightning bolt, but what are you going to do? I mean, until we get all action figures enclosed, that's what's going to happen. Double knees, they work really well. You can come all the way up. I love it when it does that. I don't know why. Kicking your own ass amuses me. There's a swivel at the top of the boot. Uh, the ankle is hinged. And then it's got the forward-facing pin for some rocker ankle. The sculpt kind of gets in the way right there when you hinge out but it's not too bad you can get around it but the good thing about it in a neutral pose it does look really good it, there's no big space right there like I said the paint is awesome uh, it's nice and clean uh, the gold emblem with the uh, lighter red inside of it looks great the ears this kind of burned gold color I don't know what burned gold looks like, but this is what I think of burned gold. It's not like bright gold. It's just kind of, you know, weathered down a little bit. The dark crimson of the uniform. There's some black wash. It's kind of heavy around the neck right here, but I just I just chalk that up to shadow. Uh, the back, it's got the same lightning bolt pattern. I mean, it's a great looking figure. Uh, the articulation kind of holds it back from running poses. And I was able to get him into a running pose, which is kind of cool. Uh, the bottom of his feet are kind of rounded, so it's kind of tough. But if you find that perfect, and I'll never be able to do it again. Oh, well, look at that. Just stood right back up. That's that's cool. I, I, he's not going to survive the shelf like that, but we'll see. Holy, I did it again. I, no, I didn't. With a little, with a little tweaking, yeah, you can get the one foot poses, and uh, that's surprising. I wish he could lick up more, but you know I'm good with this. Now for accessories, like I said, he comes with the fists, and you can change them out. He comes with flat palm running hands for both hands. These hands pop out really easy, and if you can't get it out, just turn the articulation, and it pops out. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to make it look like it's a terrible thing. It's just that don't get too crazy with the wrists and they won't pop out on you. You can have them waving hi, hello, Iris, I love you. Or, you know, just the running pose. And he comes with, like, neutral hands. I would call them gripping hands, but there's nothing to grip. And it's not really grip. It's just him at ease, you know. And it's for both sides. If he's just standing there. You know, just got suited up, ready for some action. Size-wise, I don't have a lot of DC Collectibles figures. I'm waiting for the Icons line, see what that looks like. Here he is with uh, Marvel Legends Black Panther. You can see it's the usual larger scale. But, uh, with the Arrow figures that I'm going to get now, because Flash is so cool, and, and I'll get my own Flash, uh, in their own display, it's going to look great. I have nothing against, you know, the slightly larger scale when they... Uh, produce enough figures to you know put on the shelf uh, where it's not just one figure sitting there by itself or you have to put that one figure in a display of uh, characters from another company's line that and it just ends up looking out of scale the articulation schemes different the paint schemes are different uh, one may be more realistic looking the next one's cartoony looking mix and match uh, I don't have a problem with it but if I can help it, I'd like to have all the same figures from all the same company, all the same line. And if not, I just deal with it. Star Wars. So if you're on the fence with him, uh, go out and buy this guy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's a beautiful looking figure. Uh, I can't remember the solicitations off the top of my head, but I know they're digging deep 
into the cast of Arrow. So I hope they do the same for The Flash. I'd like to see, uh, you know, Caitlin, Cisco, some of the bad guys. Uh, they are making uh, Captain Cold. But yeah, give me Heat Wave. Uh, give me all of them. Um, I'm good with that. I'll even take a Harrison Wells in wheelchair. You know, give him an alternate head with reverse flash. Spoilers. And uh, I'll keep on buying the whole line. I'll have to buy two, you know, for the boy. So, if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh. <laughs> the, the first thing I noticed, though, out of the package is he's kind of long in the crotch. Uh, I don't know why they had to have the legs come up that far. I don't think it was necessary. There's a lot of, you know, extra plastic there for the hip assembly. But it works.